Hey, fan fiction critic. It's me, the fanfic critic, and Susan. Okay, don't say hello. Um, okay, uh, as you can clearly see, I am alive and well. I got brought back with the Dragon Balls a little earlier this week. Yeah, interesting experience. And, um, just wanted to let you know that I'm all fine and dandy now. You're probably wondering why Susan is sitting right next to me for this. Well, um, we'll get to her later. Okay, I want to talk about the fanfic that you reviewed today. Um, yeah, that fanfic that you wrote. So, you were 13 when you wrote it, eh? Do you want to know something? For a fanfic written by a 13-year-old, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, yes, it was still a bad fanfic, but I was expecting a lot worse, let's put it that way. Jeez, even when you were 13, you had great grammar. At least you paid attention in English class. A lot of today's youth, not so much, which is sad. But I will agree, the story did have way too many backstories, and the reason why this is an issue is because too many backstories equals a way too cluttered plot, and something tells me that none of these backstories really got, you know, really led to anything. They didn't really add much to the story. And the thing with, um, Sideswipe's character, I mean, yeah, she wasn't Mary Sue, but she wasn't the worst Mary Sue I have seen. But her character was actually pointless, and the whole thing about her kind of bonding with Polly made no sense. So she ends up going back with the gang after? I mean, I don't know. It didn't end the way I thought it was going to. The ending just felt a little rushed. But I can see what you mean by not wanting the story to keep on going. I mean, I'm sure when you were 13 you thought it was a fabulous story, but I will agree it wasn't exactly the best story up to, up to um, reading it as adults and stuff. But it wasn't the worst fanfic I have ever seen, and frankly, I kind of think you're being a little too hard on yourself. I mean, come on. You were 13 when you wrote that. The bad story that I reviewed of my own on my show, I was 19. 19. I'm 21 now. It's going to be 22 in October. But you know the idea. I was an adult. I should have known better. I should have written something better than what I did, and I did it. But for a 13-year-old writing that fanfic, it wasn't that bad of a fanfic. Was it the best? No. Was it the worst? No. Oh, and for the record, I don't think you're a loser. You are awesome. <coughs> Kiss off. Now you're probably wondering why Susan is um, sitting in with me for this little uh, announce or this little message. The thing is, um, I saw the video that she sent you. In fact, you used that video in your episode to explain things. And as flattered as I am that she wanted to, um, you know, stick up for me in a sense, and as flattered as I am that she was upset about my demise, the video that she sent you was a little harsh. So, Susan here is going to apologize for the video she sent and for um, threatening you in the video, if I do recall, seeing she had the face pistol pointed at the camera at some point. So, Susan, do you have something you want to say? Sorry, fan fiction, good girl. Well, I'm the fanfic critic. This is Susan, and um, we'll see you around. Bye.